Hello and welcome on board, everybody. I am Scruffy Tam, your pilot on Scruffy Tam Airlines, where we wear crazy socks all the time. This series is a tour of uninhabited islands in the Pacific Ocean, and we'll slowly make our way over to the main Hawaiian islands, learning some history about these islands that are, some are very tiny. Uh, there's actually one reef We'll see some beautiful sunrises and sunsets as we go. Let me give you a quick recap on what we're going to be doing. This will be an eight, um, eight video series. One video a week will be posted on YouTube. We're going to start right here at uh, Midway. Midway Wild, uh, Wildlife Refuge. And then we'll fly over here to what we lovingly dub Pork Chop Island. You'll see why in the video. Then we'll fly over to these little tiny remote islands as we travel the Pacific Ocean all the way to the main Hawaiian islands, finally ending up right here on the main island of Hawaii at Airport PHTO, Papa Hotel Tango Oscar. Along the way, we'll discover beautiful beaches humongously tall sheer cliffs jungle and a lot of other surprises volcanoes so i hope you enjoy this eight part series videos we will be posting every wednesday at 2 p.m eastern standard time starting with this one also don't forget my united states coast to coast tour videos which post every friday at 2 p.m uh, that's a 30 part series that will post one every Friday at 2 p.m. until May the 1st. After this Pacific Coast tour, I am right now on twitch.tv slash scruffytam doing more ocean island tours. So be sure to come in, say hello, give me a follow, check it out. Hope you enjoy it. All right, everybody, I wish you clear skies, light winds and favorable conditions as you fly. Take care of yourselves. Hope to see you on a stream soon. See us later. I am out. Let's go. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to my smooth jazz stream. Hope everyone had a good day. Just kidding. Hope everyone had a really good day. Oh, that's some really smooth jazz saxophone going on there. So I figured I'd just go ahead with it. Um, I had a really nice day today. So today we're one step closer to our Christmas break. Um, Thursday is our last day before we have our Christmas break where I work. And so we had our Christmas dinner at work. Um, had a little bit of training going on. But that was pretty much it for today at work. And uh, came home, had a couple things to do. Had a, had a visit, um, a dealership that I used to work for. Do a little bit of IT work for them. Came home. Um, had a, had a color of the wife's hair and just got done with it. And so here I am. Here I am. Yes, I did say, I did say it. I had a color of my wife's hair. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, so tonight we are going to continue our tour of the remote islands out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. We are oh so close to the main islands of Hawaii. So I'm trying to find that one last island that we discovered yesterday evening before the end of stream that I just went flipping out about, thinking that it looks like the island off the movie Moana, and it turned out I was wrong. Dwarven Egg, what is happening, friend? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, friend. Um, I'm going to give you a shout out now and then I'll give you a shout out once some more people come in as well. But uh, if you're here and you don't know Dwarven Egg, check them out. Oh, that? Some Fortnite. <laughs> I, I have peaked. Somebody <laughs> clip that. I have peaked. Uh, 
uh good seeing you too dwarven egg i love fortnite just saying um i know fortnite's really you know not not the cool game anymore but i do enjoy some fortnite i don't play it um on stream i've played it on stream a couple times but i play it off stream i used to play it a lot off stream um so what i'm what i'm doing right now is trying to find this little island um and like i was saying i thought it was the island off of the movie moana it turned out i was very wrong i looked it up after stream and um it turns out there is no such island as the island on in moana but it was um it was supposed to resemble um a certain island or whatever but anyways okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and just spawn in um in the pacific ocean and then we'll um i'll just slew over to the island because i'm really having i'm gonna go to the pc screen i'm really having a hard time finding it so we're just gonna kind of spawn in the middle of the pacific somewhere and then i'll find it in um little nav map and fly over to it because it's such a small island to try to find it in the middle of the pacific is next to impossible so here we go let's see what happens when i slew in where it's going to put me at and then we'll just fly over um to that island so as i said we're going to continue our tour um we should okay so i'm not too far away i'm not too far away from it let me all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start and i'm gonna hit y so i can slew and then we'll find our little island and i'll take off from the island just like i landed on the island yesterday evening uh i'll take off from the same island tonight and that'll be our starting point from there uh once we get to our next island which is close to one of the main islands of hawaii then we'll start touring some of the main islands so bear with me just a couple minutes as i make my way to this island that we discovered last night. All right, going the heading I'm going should take me right to it. It looks like it's gonna take me exactly to that island. Uh, once we get there again, I'm just gonna, um, I'll, I'll slew to this island I had a really hard time finding it in game because it's such a tiny island but we'll take off from this island and then we'll fly over to um one of the closer closer to one of the bigger islands i can't remember the name of this island once i get to it then i'll zoom in uh i did some some googling today of these islands so one of the islands that we saw was necker island necker island that's the one that had shark bay and uh something cove and some other really cool places and these are islands that haven't been inhabited in hundreds of years but there have been signs of of people that have lived there before they don't think that people live there long term uh, but there definitely was signs because there's burial grounds and stuff there. Really, really interesting stuff. That's what I've loved about these um, Pacific remote island tours. It's just the history behind them. So really, really cool stuff. So this island that I'm slewing over to has cliffs of 900 feet tall. It also is uninhabited. Uh, it also has burial grounds and it has caves and stuff like that. I'm not sure that you, it's a place that you can actually go and explore. I, I don't know if it's considered, you know, a sacred island. 
the, if it's off limits or whatever, but it is owned. It's it's one of the Hawaiian territories. It's owned by the United States. And it's a place that I would love to visit in real life. It looks like we have a plane flying directly over us right now. So we may have some company this evening. Should be getting close to to our island now. I'm gonna stop right here for just a minute and zoom into my little nav map so I can tell once I get real close. Yeah, we are getting closer. All right. Tam the OG, what's happening? So there's Tam the OG, my daughter, who is on vacation with her husband, uh, with his family. All right, here we are. So here's our island. Yesterday evening, I, I really was freaking out thinking that this was the island from the movie Moana. And uh, I sent this to Tam the OG, asking her, hey, is this the island off of Moana? It turns out it's not. Oh, you're at dinner. You want to say hi from Chicago? Hey, Tim, the OG. I hope y'all are having fun. I know you are. I don't know why I said I hope you are. I know you are. But I'm glad you guys are having fun. You gonna eat now? Love you too, Tim. Love you too. Let me give my daughter, Tim, the OG, a shout out. Enjoy this short clip of one of her streams. Diner Dash. It was when she last time she streamed it was Diner Dash. But this is Sims oh 4. God. And it would help if I didn't hit the wrong button. All right, I don't want to spawn into the water. There we go. Move up just a little bit so that I'm on land and I don't roll. And there we go. Viper strike, what's happening friend? How are you? Good evening, good to see you. All right, so we have slewed onto the island that we were at yesterday evening. I'm going to, there we go. I turned the aircraft off. I'm going to set the part break. There we go. How are you, Viper Strike? Good to see you. Welcome this evening. Hope things are well for you. Hope you had a fantastic day. I had a really nice day. All right, let me show y'all where we are at, where we are going. Good deal, Viper Strike. That is awesome to hear. I'm glad that you're doing well. I'm doing really, really well. I'm excited about tonight. We're finally getting close to the main Hawaiian islands. We're taking off from Nihoa, an island that I landed at yesterday evening. This island's really cool. Um, I have enjoyed Googling and finding out more information about these places. We're going to be leaving Nihoa and we'll be flying over to this island is going to be our next destination it is a nice little trek it's going to be about 100 nautical miles away and this island let's see if it's got a name i think it did yeah so we're going to be flying over here to um kaula island kaula island got mount kaula so we'll fly over there to that and then we'll fly over um, to this island. And then we're going to get to the mainland Hawaiian Islands, finally. After checking out some really remote Hawaiian Islands. All right. So, I'm fairly new at flight simming. Y'all know this. I've been flight simming for um, about three months now, I guess. I've taken off one time. From an island very similar to this where it's um real tight quarters good news is the wind is blowing at me so that's going to help me take off uh so i'm going to go full flaps go ahead and go full flaps i'm going to go full throttle we're going to go ahead and fire back up i've got my part break on i'm going to knock the part break off and then uh then we're gonna be then it's gonna be go time hopefully i can pull this off y'all ready for this i don't know if i am or not but here goes 
All right. Uh, full flaps. Full throttle. Part break off, and we're rolling. We are rolling. Oh my gosh. And I am gonna crash. No, I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm going too much of an angle. I'm going at too much of an angle. There we go. There we go. There we go. We pulled it off. We pulled it off. Heck yes. Dude, thank you. That's probably, yeah, well, I've only done that one other time, but that, that was pretty awesome. Thank you. Um, I was really, really nervous about that. But I pulled it off. I appreciate that. <laughs> Very rewarding. There we go. Let's see if I can get leveled out a little bit. I need to, I need to trim out just a little bit, but I need to get a little bit more altitude first. My, uh, my rate of climb is like crazy right now. All right, let me adjust my trim. Um, nose down a little bit. Whoa, no wonder. Holy crap. My trim was like stupid. There we go. Oh my gosh. Yep, now we're going to sink. Dang, I pulled the takeoff off and now we're going to... There. That's better. Okay. Let's adjust the throttle a little bit. My, my rate of climb is still pretty crazy. So I'm going to adjust the trim a little bit more. Uh, pitch trim usually around one is pretty good for me. There we go. There we go. Now we're flying level. Now I just got to fly in the correct direction because we are flying away from where I want to be. Adjust my trim a little bit more. Come on, mouse. Work with me here. There we go. There. One is kind of where I want to be. I'm going to go ahead and turn. I want to fly at about a thousand feet. Right now we're at a thousand forty, so I'm pretty happy with that. We'll do a do kind of a slow, smooth turn to a heading of uh, 25, 30 to about 130 is the heading I want to be at. So we'll turn to a heading of 130. I'm going to slow down a little bit. So we just left a little remote island. And we are heading to another remote island, one of the uh, Hawaiian islands. I had no idea that the Hawaiian islands were spread so far out, but they are. They're they're spread way far out. And I've I've kind of been leaning on autopilot a lot throughout these the, this, these all these flights of the Hawaiian islands. Tonight I'm gonna hand fly it uh, because starting very very soon. I'm going to be taking in real life pilot lessons and the aircraft I'll be flying is a Cessna 172, uh, but it's an older one, like a late sixties model. That's not going to have autopilot 
and the nav screens and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna try to get used to just manually flying, which I've got to do anyways to get my PPL. Hey, CKB, what is happening, friend? How are you? Yeah, I talked to a uh, CFI yesterday and pretty much he's available tomorrow and Thursday. Unfortunately, I'm working tomorrow and Thursday and then he's going to be off for three weeks. So it'll be a, a few weeks before I'm able to actually start lessons. Oh, no problem. CKB, you did a bunch of streaming today, friend. You were streaming for a long time. But no problem, man. Hey, I just I appreciate you jumping in and saying hello. So I've got my pitch trim adjusted pretty well. I'm probably gonna throttle up just a touch more so I can stay at a thousand looks like we're at a heading of 135 I want to be at 130 and we are about 90 nautical miles away from our next little remote island out in the middle of, of the Pacific I need to give some shout outs really quick so CKB is in the house uh, the crazy cosmic bunny that is CKB is also a streamer check out this short clip And Crazy Cosmic Bunny is a good friend of our communities, um, a, a true variety streamer. You'll see CKB playing all sorts of things. You were just doing some flight planning for tomorrow's stream to the Highlands of Scotland. Dude, Viper Strike, that sounds awesome. I've got to catch one of your streams and enjoy this short clip of one of Viper Strike's streams. I have flown I've, I've flown more than one time but I flew one time for um for a flight lesson it got sick as a dog this was in 1994 and I kind of gave up um on my dream of, of becoming a pilot then I wish I had stuck with it my flight instructor told me to stick with it that I would get over the motion sickness but um here I am 27 years later deciding that I want to pursue that once again technology has changed a lot since 1994 and I've ordered uh, that they've got these things you put on your wrist that um, stimulate a nerve that's in your arm that is supposed to help with air sickness we'll see we'll see if that works I've got one coming oh yeah CKB that that would be that would be really really cool And actually, I'm hoping that's not going to be a hindrance to me. I'm hoping it won't be a hindrance to me because I do have some health issues, um, but not nothing, you know, drastic or anything. So we'll see. We do have a 15 knot crosswind and it's blowing me to the right just a little bit. So I'm kind of having to um, compensate by pulling to the left just a touch to stay at 130 uh, degree heading. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the outside view, the camera view of the outside of the aircraft. There we go. Kind of see the outside a little bit. I need to make sure also that I'm on I know I'm on real weather let's make sure I'm on live uh, so 
there we go now i'm on live real time and real weather as well or live time and live weather i should say you're not even good for a driver's license oh man dang i'm sorry to hear that ckb there's our island we're leaving it off in the distance So long, island. So long. Until next time. So I hope everyone had a fantastic day. I know what I know what Crazy Cosmic Bunny did. Did anyone else do anything exciting today? Uh, Viper Strike was planning out uh, a stream to the Highlands, dude. I've got to, I've got to check that out. What time are you planning on streaming Viper Strike? What, um, what time zone are you in? And what time are you going to stream that? So I'd really like to see that. Okay, CKB, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Sleep well, friend, and I'll see you next time, either on one of your flights, or one of your streams, or one of mine. east usa okay sweet so we're the same time zone nice i'll have to be watching for that viper strike because i would love to see the highlands of scotland let me make sure that i follow you i'm pretty sure i do yes i do okay cool so i'll be on lookout for you What aircraft do you typically fly, Viper Strike? Do you just kind of fly a variety of them, or is there one go-to? Kind of like the 172 is my go-to. And it's really going to be my go-to for the next little while, since this is what I'm going to be flying for my um, flight lessons. You know what? I just realized also that I don't have my. Okay, your general aviation with the Bush planes and vintage aircraft. Oh, you fly the Junkers? Heck yeah. I love those things. All right, I need to do one thing. I'm going to add my flight data so you guys can see. Let's see here. I don't know why I continually have to add this, but it's okay. There's an overlay. As much as I love Sim Toolkit, it's really kind of a pain, to be honest. Uh, but sim toolkit is what i use to display flight data whoa what the heck i made that way too skinny what did i do wrong did i do 100 yep there i meant to put a thousand there we go that's more better there now you guys can see some flight data I'm going to unpause my plane. Oh my gosh. You know what? I forgot to, I forgot to fuel up. Hey, Corfo, Col <laughs> easy for me to say. Cole Fork is flying with us this evening. 
Um, I don't know if Cold Fork's in the channel or not, but they are definitely flying along with us. Let me give Cold Fork a shout out. Pretty sure I got that typed in there, right? Yeah, there we go. Cold Fork 85. Be sure you go give Cold Fork 85 a follow. Uh, enjoy this short clip of one of their streams. Uh, if you're if you're in chat, Cold Fork, it's good to see you. Thank you for flying along. Yeah, I'm doing six knots. Thanks for flying along. Glad you enjoyed it. Yes, yes, Viper Strike. Given the Ooh, given the Cold Fork emotes. Draco's in with the Corsair. Nicely. Done. I am flying at a heading of. 130 is my heading it's, it's, I'm trying to keep it at 130 I am blowing to the right a little bit so I was actually at almost 150 so I'm going to do a quick correction to get me back at a heading of 130 yeah Cold Fork a very engaging uh, flight sim streamer also be sure you check our friend Cold Fork out uh, there they are also flying RV RV 7A can't really tell what that is cruising along with us so I'm flying at a speed of 103 knots trying my best to keep at a heading of 130 but I've got a crosswind a 50 knots blowing me over a vans rv7 okay uh, thank you thank you thank you is it, uh what kind, i don't know what kind of aircraft that is what kind of aircraft is a vans rv7 is that like a single prop or is it a two place single engine home built oh nice there's Cold Fork. I knew you were in here somewhere. I just had to pull you out of the darkness. Welcome, welcome. And it's freeware. Oh, sweet. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you, friend. So this should be the last long, um, you know, really not a whole lot to see flight that we'll have our next destination will be really close to the main hawaiian islands we are going to go to a kind of a small island and then it's going to be a short hop uh looks like maybe 10 nautical miles to the next island and then uh, then another 10 miles to the mainland um island of hawaii the first one um I don't don't know what the name of it is, but we'll uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. So it's gonna take us a little while to get to this next destination. It's okay. I just enjoy spending time with you guys in chat. So are you? Is this one that you're building? like we're gonna have clear weather also no you're not that talented okay I, i'm not either but hey you never know yeah you can't beat free you got that right ain't nothing wrong with free is there that's why i like flight sim.to Speaking of flightsim.to, if um, if you're interested in the livery that I'm flying on my aircraft, on my plane C-172, it can be uploaded from flightsim.to for free. Um, just search Scruffy Tam. You'll see it. You can download it. Um, you don't have to fly with it, but that way, if you're flying along with me and you want to see my plane as it is right now, you will see it in your in your game same as mine it's 
so i am trying to wean myself off of autopilot just a little bit i'm not flying autopilot right now um as very soon i'll be starting real life flight lessons uh, in fact i could start tomorrow or thursday but i've got to work uh then my flight instructor will be taking a couple weeks off for christmas so sometime after the first of the year i'll be starting And I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. My plan at that point is to, is to kind of document my process, my, pro my process, the process, I guess, of getting it, my progress. And then whatever, you know, whenever I fly in real life, whenever I fly, whenever I go up in an aircraft, the next time I stream, I'll fly that, that flight. And my flight instructor, I had the concern that, you know, uh, flying flight sim might give me bad habits that would translate in a bad way to uh, flying in real life. But he said no, that, that he, he could see it as a, as a real positive. I am changing my heading to 135. I was trying to fly 130, but I'm changing to 135 now. It's gonna put me uh, at a better trajectory to to meet up with our island. Let's see how far away we are. Looks like we're about uh, 85 nautical miles away from our next little island destination There's really not a whole lot to see right now. Some of the, um, whenever we've had sunrises and sunsets on these Pacific Ocean tours, it has been absolutely beautiful. I mean, to die for. But it's going to be a little while before we see a sunset. Although there are some clouds up ahead, there is no rain. Now we should not encounter rain at all this evening on this evening's flight. There is some rain on um, Kaui, I guess is the name. I, I don't know how to pronounce this. The first, the first big island, the first main island. It's uh, K A U A I. So I don't know if that's Kaui, Kaui. Looks like there is some rain um, south of that island, but we will not make it there on this evening stream. I probably will not be streaming tomorrow evening. My next stream after tonight will be um, probably Thursday evening. And then starting Thursday, I should be able to stream on a regular basis pretty much every day pretty much daily up until christmas eve 
and at that point i'll try to remember to post it on all my socials so that y'all will know what time i'll be streaming i'm also working on putting these videos on youtube i have found these tours of the uh, remote pacific islands to be absolutely um really amazing very interesting i'm still uploading my coast to coast usa tours to my youtube channel once i get all those uploaded then i'm gonna go back and start uploading these so then there should be two videos a week being posted to my youtube channel right now it's just one a week on fridays i'm posting each leg of my usa coast to coast tour right now once I get all those edited and uploaded, then um, I'll start posting these to the Hawaiian, Hawaiian Islands. And I have enjoyed this so much, flying out in the middle of the ocean and flying these remote Pacific Islands and learning more about the islands so much that I think the next series I'll do is also going to be kind of the same thing. We'll, we'll fly some remote islands. So maybe instead of the Pacific, we'll find some, you know, somewhere else and fly those islands. And maybe that'll be my theme for a little while, you know, just island discoveries or something. Discovery Island. That actually sounds... I think there's a water park near us that's called Discovery Island. I think... Alright, as long as I keep a heading... Uh, Fantasy Island, yeah... <laughs> that's right go for it where was fantasy where, where's fantasy island based out of is that is that supposed to be in hawaii i never watched that of course i'm older and so i i remember seeing the og the original fantasy island but wasn't that like in hawaii or somewhere like that yeah i have the yeah the plane the plane oh, here we go wait a minute the plane, the plane. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I know it's just some kind of a tropical area, some sort of a tropical area. Is my bot not working? Yes, my bot is working. Okay. But I did know, um, I, I don't know what, what it's on, if it's on Hulu or, you know, whatever, or Netflix, but I do know Fantasy Island, they have done a remake of it. I think it might be on Hulu. I've got a visitor. Come on. Ah, there we go. My little dog, Ting Ting, is here. Oh, sorry, Nathan. I apologize for that dog trying to give me all my all the love all her love so here's my dog ting ting you can actually see her better i think right here on my control cam 
Say hello to everybody. There you go. Say hello. I think she's probably telling me she's got to go out. I'll take her out in a little bit if she keeps on. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up having to take her out. You need to go out. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Yeah, so I'm actually hand flying tonight. I'm not not using autopilot. I'm hand flying. Yes, yes, I was for just a little while, Nathan. Today, um, today at work we had our Christmas dinner, and then we had a training meeting. So I didn't get a chance to stay in in your stream much. I was in yours, and uh, Crazy Cosmic Bunnies. No, 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 Nathan. It's cool because I wasn't even in there to to chat. I was just in there lurking. So don't don't worry about that at all. Uh, in fact, probably for the rest of this week, well, just tomorrow and Thursday, if I'm in someone's stream, I'm not going to have much time to talk because I'm preparing for classes after the first year, and we've got meetings. We have graduation coming up on Thursday, so yeah, don't. I'll uh, I'll try to lurk in some channels, but I, I probably won't be real active. You have a new game to start oh what you streaming tomorrow nathan what new game is it no 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 dude it's fun let me check my fuel level really quick and then i'm gonna Pause the game and take the dog out. Okay, I should have plenty of fuel. I'm gonna be streaming the Hunter Call of the Wild. Oh, I think um I'm pretty sure Crazy Cosmic Bunny has has streamed that. I'm pretty sure I've seen that stream before. Yeah, that looks like it'd be a pretty cool game. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the plane just because i'm hand flying well you know what i guess i could just put autopilot on really quick um but i hate to do that so i'm just gonna pause the game or pause the, the plane and i'll be right back let me take my dog out and i'll be right back give me about five minutes okay stick with me we'll be right back we'll fly some more pacific uh water and uh see some more clouds and eventually we'll see an island all right i am back unpause there we go. And pause and we are back to flying. So it's a nice relaxing game. Cool. And Viper Strike has had it since early 2020. Cool. Yeah, like I said, I think I've seen um, Crazy Cosmic Bunny stream that before. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really bad to um, purchase a lot of DLC stuff, and I'm glad that I didn't with uh, Flight Sim. I'm, I'm really loving the Flight Sim. Oh, thank you, Nathan. I appreciate that, and thank you, thank you to her as well. Even if we can't make it, it means so much that, uh, that both of you guys want us to come so that that's pretty awesome you're actually really nervous though that's okay hey i totally understand being nervous so we got cold fork flying along with us anybody else no, no, nobody else right now. Just, just cold fork. Anybody else that wants to fly along, y'all are welcome to fly along. I really enjoy having my viewers fly along. It's nice to discover things together. You have all the DLCs outside the brand new reserve in Mississippi. 
Empty light reserves. All the weapon packs are great if you buy them from Steam. The weapons themselves are free. Oh, sweet. Yeah, definitely, because, you know, I have I have bought games before and bought the DLCs and just did not like the game. And then I hate that I ever spent the money on it. So, yeah, that's, that's really good advice. Buy the game first. Make sure you like it. Yeah, you know, it, it, there is going to be a little bit of a culture shock for you, uh, but that's that's okay. Most people in Mississippi probably talk very similar to the way I talk. I don't I don't really know. I know Louisiana people from Louisiana, the next state over, have a little bit different of a southern accent than me, but. Um, Mississippi, they probably talk a lot like I do. Colonel Fork flying along with us. Still got a little ways before we see our our first island of the evening, besides the one I took off from, of course. And there's Cole Fork flying at 8,600 feet. Oh, we do have someone else flying along. I don't know if, if they just happen to be here or if this is someone flying along with us. Uh, Chihuahua. Chihuahua 1125. They could just be here because somewhere out that way is an aircraft carrier. I saw earlier. It's all kind of strange, really, because I swore you were never going to go into another relationship. Then you and Brittany got to talking over the internet. Oh, it happens. Oh, okay, yeah. So they're just flying over then. I see that now. Yeah, they're 30. Oh, yeah, they're gaining altitude, too. Almost they're 39,000 feet now. There's Cole Fort flying up above. Cole Fort almost directly on top of us now. Uh, 16, uh, 16 knot, 16 knot crosswind we're getting now is uh, making me have to make constant little tiny corrections to my heading. I find myself going from like 145 to 115, not 115, 125, and now now I'm back to 145 again. So I'm just going to have to hold a little a slight constant pressure to the left side of the yoke just a little bit. That should, that should take care of that. There's Cole Fork up there. 8,600 feet. Who's the woman in my yoke? What? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, right here. Uh, that is uh, the average Kim who uh, her and her husband, the Kung Fu Kangaroo are good friends of mine. And she was doing uh, she was this is one of her, her emotes. It's an emote sticker. She was doing an emote sticker giveaway during her uh, one year anniversary stream a little while ago. 
and so I told her I wanted one and she sent them to me and I, and I was wondering you know where am I going to put them and then I said hey that'd be pretty cool to put it you know kind of a kind of a shout out to her and the Kung Fu Kangaroo so yeah that's what that is that's the average Kim good friend of the community really fun streamer oh you thought you were tripping no no problem at all I thought you were tripping too when you were talking about a, a female on my yoke. I'm like, what? What? What female? Yeah, exactly. No, that's right. That's right, Nathan. I forgot about that. Yeah, so that's one of the average Kim's emotes, and um, she sent me two of them. And then this is the this is the other. Let's see here. There. That's the other emote that uh, that she sent me. So I've got a couple of them. Uh, but they're both really, really good, uh, good streamers. And we don't live very far from each other. I'm going to change my heading again. Since I've drifted some, I need to be at a heading of uh, 120, the low 120s. So I'm gonna go to about 123 and see see what that what happens there. There we go. That'll put me in a little bit better trajectory now that I've floated over a little bit. This wind is blowing me all around. Can't wait for the A380 to come out for flight sim. I've only flown um, a jetliner one time. And I was not real successful at it, but it was one time when I was just kind of playing around. But I'm really enjoying the small aircraft right now anyways. Hey, good deal, Dwarven Egg. Thank you, man. I'd be, love to have you fly along. Awesome, dude. Jump on in. Uh, the closest, let's see here. The closest airport is going to be... Um, yeah, Nathan, one day, one day, but I'm telling you, I love, and especially since my flight lessons are going to be in a 172, um, this is going to be my go-to aircraft for quite some time now. The closest airport Dwarven Egg is going to be uh, Papa Hotel Bravo Kilo. Papa Hotel Bravo Kilo, and it's going to be... Uh, let's see here. About 70 miles, 70 nautical miles. But yeah, man, love to have you fly along. And anyone else, anyone else who wants to fly along, um, always, always, anytime I'm streaming flight sim, jump in. You don't even have to ask. Just show up. Just show up. I love to have you guys in chat. And I love to have you fly along. It's a lot of fun. I am US Server East. US Server East. I was in flights with Joel's channel earlier. Uh, actually, right before I started stream. Are you gonna bounce? Yeah, no problem at all, Nathan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Love and appreciate you too, friend. Thank you. Stay, stay safe. Enjoy, Brittany. Enjoy your programs. And I'll see you next time. Good night, friend. Oh, do you see land from that altitude? Cool. You're at 5,700 feet. Nice. You're going to be our scout. You're our land scout. You know, I realized that flying over the Pacific Ocean for literally hours at a time has not been the most engaging thing in the world to stream, but researching each of these islands has really really been cool so land at about 11 o'clock that is about right yes what, what's your heading right now cold fork
My heading's uh, 123. And that would put it at about 11 o'clock for me. Yeah, cool. That's where I'm at. Okay, sweet. Okay, so I am closest to the island. I'm, I'm the island I'm actually flying to is Kaula, K A apostrophe U L A Kaula. And my heading, yeah, my heading is going to be 115. I'm going to turn to 115. Thank you, Cole Fork. Cole Fork's kind of my scout up there ahead. <clears throat> So 115. You found me on the map. Sweet. Okay, cool. And I am flying manual tonight. I decided I'm not going to do autopilot as much as I have been just because I don't want to get spoiled to autopilot and have that, you know, have some kind of effect on my in real life uh, flight flight lessons nice so cold forks flying along dwarven eggs should be coming in spawning in soon up on the Hawaiian island of Kaula. Once we get to Kaula, a uh, Kaula, what? Where did that come from? Once we get to Kaula, um, if it's conducive to a landing, I will go ahead and land on it, and then I'm going to refuel, and then we'll uh fly on to the next one i might do some research on it while we're while we're there here is chrome shot 23 who is is chrome shot 23 in the channel because that's that's not dwarven egg unless unless dwarven egg changed changed their name going to jump back into the aircraft for just a minute dwarven egg is on my six heck yes and chrome shot i don't know if chrome shot is with us or not they could just be another person that happens to be out here uh, but chrome shot if you're flying along with us welcome <clears throat> dwarven egg is on my six there's dwarven egg i see dwarven egg slewing on up There we go, Dwarven Egg has caught up. Oh, Dwarven Egg, I need to load in. Are you, do you have a plan of uploading your livery for others to download? Because this would be an awesome time if I was, if I had it, where it would show your livery on your aircraft while we're flying along as well. So uh, do you have a plan? Do you have any plans of uploading it so other people can get it? Yeah, please do. Because that kind of be an advertisement for your channel. Um, and Cole Ford, do you have a custom livery as well? I can't remember if you have a custom livery or not, Cole Ford. Yeah, definitely would be. Definitely would be. I need to download Shoney. Oh, so yours is on twotonemurphy.com. Sweet. Okay. 
I need to get Shoney Gamings as well. Let me take a picture of that. I need I need to download Shoney Gamings. There we go. There's an, another friend of our channel that was going to do a birthday stream this evening, um, David Rendon, but he just messaged me that he is not going to be streaming this evening, so I'm going to message him back and, and tell him that I will miss him, but that we are flying if you'd like to fly along. So we've got Cold Fort flying with us, Dwarven Egg flying with us. And it looks like the other random person is gone, which I, th I think they were just, you know, a solo flight or something. They weren't actually with us. <clears throat> it looks like we are, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 nautical miles away from the island of Kaula. And it looks like it's gonna be the last of the tiny islands that we'll see out here on the uh, Hawaiian Pacific tour that we've been doing for the last several streams. You're turning to 110, okay? All right. I am also turning to 110. Try my best to maintain 110. We've got a uh, 14 knot. At least the winds have subsided a little bit. We got a 14 knot side wind that's blowing me to the right just a little bit. Really clear skies right now. This is about the clearest skies that we've had. One of the first times it's been this clear during our whole uh, Pacific tour thing. Got Dwarven Egg back there behind me. We got Cold Fork in front. There's Chrome Shot just showed back up. But I think Chrome Shot's just a solo flight out there. I know, right? I just had to say something, right? <laughs> That's all it took to load them in. And there's Dwarven Egg sliding in behind me. There we go. A little side-by-side -side C-172 action going on right now. He flew right under me. Heck yes. And the winds are subsiding a little bit more, but I am still floating all over the place. Holy moly. Let me get back in line here.
still just kind of cruising along got it ways before the sun sets although that looks pretty cool but once it goes down a little bit more it'll really look beautiful so we should be able to see a nice sunset here uh, shortly i'm probably going to be streaming for about another another hour hour and a half my plan is to land at kaula and then fly over to the next island which is much bigger and it is the niahu niahu i don't know how to pronounce that but anyways that's the plan that's the plan Dwarven egg back there, taking up the rear. Cold Fork in the lead, doing some scouting for us. So, Cold Fork, are you able to see more than one island at a um, year 3,500 feet? Or are you just seeing that first island? Because you should, depending on your altitude, there's potential to see three. Progressively getting bigger the more the further east you go. Not as much at 3,500 higher you could, gotcha. I am still not seeing land, which I, I really didn't expect to until I got uh, probably about 10 miles out. Okay, about 28 nautical miles out. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, no, my plane is veering to the right. There we go. Yeah, it really is. Got got pretty strong crosswinds. They got as high as 16. Yeah, they're gusting pretty good. Right now, we got 11 uh, steady gusting. But yeah, they started out at, at 15. They got up as high as 16, and now they're holding steady at uh, between 11 and 12. But yeah, it's blowing me like crazy to the right <laughs> at times. It's kind of difficult to, to keep the heading. Well, not really difficult, but. Oh, you see the first main island on the horizon at about 10 o'clock and you are at, okay, you're still at 3,500 feet. Sweet. Gonna be a fun landing if it's a crosswind. Yes, yes, it will. Yes, it will. But actually the island. Well, I guess it depends on where on the island we can land. But it looks like we could land into the wind. Okay, right where Cole shot, right where Chrome shot is, sweet. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right where the first main island is because we're gonna be uh, flying kind of um, northeast after this island. The way this island is laid out, it's um, kind of a um, 210, uh, no, even steeper than that. It's almost the north-south, so we should be able to fly straight into the wind depending on where there's somewhere to land at.
So probably won't make it to the main island this evening. Uh, we'll do that Thursday. But tonight my plan is to make it to this first small island of Kaula. And then we'll fly to the second island. And then we'll save the main island for Thursday. And we'll do a tour of the island. First we'll just kind of fly around it with our plane. Maybe fly over it. And then we'll land, get the drone out, and do a little drone tour of it. I was watching... Oh, that's what I was saying this a little while ago, and, and I, I totally lost my train of thought. But I was watching flights with Joel earlier, in fact, right before my stream. And he was flying one of these islands on a helicopter, or in a helicopter, with a lot of his viewers. And it was pretty cool. They flew a, a, one of the volcanic craters... I'm not sure if it was this, you know, this main island that we'll be going to Thursday or if it was one of the other ones, but it was, it was pretty awesome. There's Dwarven Egg back there. We don't have anyone else joining us right now except Dwarven Egg and Cole Fork. And then uh, Chrome Shot, who I think is just the, happens to be in Flight Sim flying right, you know, with the same kind of area that we're flying in. But I don't think they're with us. some music up i thought i heard someone talking i'm like holy crap what's this i'm hearing in my ear or someone talking then i realized i had my music down pretty low oh you see the tiny island cool yeah it looks like we're probably what um 18 miles or so from there are slowly dying down the closer we get i'm okay with that so we're at nine knots now it looks like Dipping down. Still hasn't reached that golden hour that we all love.
all right just um just zooming in on my map a little bit more there we go sorry for being so quiet oh we got someone else uh which i again i know these people are not flying along with us and it doesn't surprise me that the closer we get to hawaii the main islands uh the more other people will see besides the ones flying along with us but the majority of this uninhabited remote pacific island tour that we've been doing we haven't really seen any other flyers except the people that were part of the community we still got coal fork bringing in the lead Kind of doing some scouting for us. We got Dwarven Egg flying back there, also in a C-172. And I don't... You know what? I may... I may see... Yeah, I do see it. I am starting to see the island off in the horizon just barely coming up. Right there. But it is in sight now at 900 feet. We are at 900 feet altitude. Okay, 11 nautical miles out. That's about right. I will be switching to inside camera view in a cockpit view shortly. Oh no! Dang! Oh, I saw you disappear. That totally sucks. You're expecting a butter landing. Dude, you will get a butter landing for sure. Faux shizzle. I'll give you a butter landing. I was trained by the master himself just days ago, still fresh on my mind. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch camera views. There we go, we can actually see it better inside the cockpit view than we could outside. I'm going to go ahead and slow things down a little bit. Go ahead and descend. Oops. Wow. I'm already making mistakes. Slow down just a touch. So we'll descend some. Oh, you went descend. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. I didn't know how small the island was. Um, when I switched to cockpit view, it, it made it look a good bit bigger. So... Probably gonna do a flyby first because it looks like looks like we're coming in at a uh, 90 degree angle to it so this this part that we're seeing right here is the the shortest part of the island and this is the longest part of it right here yeah that's probably what i'm gonna end up doing i kind of want to scope it out and see if it has a beach that's conducive to a landing. I 
yeah 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 a thousand is definitely not very high you're right gotcha okay cool that's kind of the altitude I've been flying throughout this whole Pacific thing is a thousand feet. Just the, just so we'll see some details of the water and stuff. I don't know. We might have seen more scenery if I had been flying a little bit higher, but I, I kind of like the thousand foot flights over the water. And as we approach the island, here come the clouds. It looks like it's just a small cloud, though, so that's okay. Yes, exactly. You have to balance realism with the presentation, yes. And I realized that, that the presentation, you know, during this uh, Pacific Island tour hasn't really been really exciting because it's just been the Pacific Ocean and clouds for the vast majority of the time. But I wanted to keep it real and not just slew to each island and check them out. because it's, it's pretty cool just kind of discovering as we've gone along, or at least it, it has been for me. slow turn This is a pretty nice island. It looks like it may have some trees. The, the other islands that we've seen so far really haven't had a whole lot of vegetation to them. This one looks like it may have. Uh, yeah, Dwarven Egg, I am planning on landing, but I want to do a fly over first or a fly by and see if there's an area that's conducive to a land. But yeah, I definitely want to land because I need to refuel. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to do a flyby first just, just to see. So I, I don't want to crash. <clears throat> so I want to see if there's a nice smooth beach or something. It doesn't appear from what I'm seeing so far. There doesn't appear to be on this side of the island, but we'll see. A uh, cold fork, are you going to load back in? You're working on it. Okay, cool. Good deal. Love to have you come back in. It looks like there might be a little area right here, possibly. Possibly, but these... Um... Looks like these trees, the vegetation's a little bit taller than what we have seen on some of these other islands. We'll see what this what this cove looks like here. I don't know, Dwarven Egg, what do you think? 
Oh, there you go. There's my answer. You're going to try to land right there. Yeah, so that's what I'll do too. All right, let me go ahead and get this lined up. The so dwarven egg, just just for my own knowledge, what you did there when you flew by it, I saw you were pretty low. That was just to kind of give yourself a feel of the altitude of um, of that bald spot. That's gonna be tough. Yeah, I kind of thought that. That's that's what I should have done. Kind of felt it out. Um, to kind of get a feel for the altitude that it was that it's at because that as it is right now I'm really high yeah I'm definitely not gonna land it at this this angle I'm just gonna fly over so I need to kind of hit it okay All right, I'm going to fly on out a little bit. And then I'll circle around and I'll try it. I'm willing to try it. It was super tough. Ah, oh, that's got me nervous. It's got me nervous, Dwarven Egg. Uh, hey, Cosmo Kramer. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to what I call the sock drawer. I am Scruffy Tam, a longtime gamer. Been streaming for about 15 months. And I've been simming for about three months. Land and slam breaks. Okay, you got it, brother. Uh, what we're doing right now, Cosmo, is we're doing a tour of the remote Pacific Islands. And we are slowly coming up on... Slowly coming up on the main Hawaiian Islands. Um, but it's been really cool just kind of discovering these small remote islands as we go. We've got a couple of people flying along with us. Dwarven Egg and Cole Fork, a couple of members of the community, are flying along with us. Uh, Dwarven Egg just stuck the landing. They got all the power and flowed in from there. Okay, you got it. I think I'm coming in way hot, though. I don't guess I'm... No, I'm not coming in too hot, though. I'm at 70... 75. 
Oh lord. We're gonna crash. We're in the trees. Oh crap. Dang it. Uh, oh well. That's okay. I was coming in way too hot. I, I knew that. I should have I should have just circled back around, but I didn't want to waste time. So uh, if it wasn't for those trees, I wouldn't have been able to stick it. So um, I'll just restart and I'll slew in. That was a tough one, Co Cosmo. It was. Thank you. Uh, so are you a flight simmer, Cosmo? It sounds like you are. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slew in. I could have done it had I had I um, come in at a little bit. Had I come in a little bit slower, it would have been totally doable. All right, let's get this slewing in done really quick. But hey, at least I tried it. At least I tried it. I'm probably not going to take off from there. I'm probably just going to slew in and then we'll continue over to the next island. Um, I'll show you. Well, in fact, I can go ahead and drag this over here now. There we go. Oh, no, I can't either. Never mind. Okay. There. So, Cosmo, are you a are you a flight simmer? If so, how long have you been flight simming? And I'm full of questions for all the new people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just am. Um, are you a streamer? If you're a streamer, please let me know so I can give you a shout out. Uh, my community is full of fellow streamers and also fellow um, lovers of flights and flight simmers. I currently am not a pilot in real life. However, I am very soon going to be starting flight lessons. Okay, so you love flight sim and been doing it only for two years and you're not a streamer, but thank you anyways. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Um, I try to... I try to keep my streams very engaging to everybody. Um, uh, maybe a little bit of education thrown in there too. Uh, but I've only been flight simming for three years. Uh, three years, what? Three months, three months. And we've been having a lot of fun just flying the remote Pacific Islands on our way to the main Hawaiian Islands. Uh, our next destination, I'll show you what it is. And Cosmo, if you are welcome to jump in and fly along with us, if you would like to. I love to have viewers um, fly along, so feel free to. Right now, I've got Dwarven Egg Official flying along with us, and also Cold Fork is flying along with us. It looked like Dwarven Egg and Cold Fort both nailed that landing. I came in a little bit too hot and ended up crashing. But I guess that's one the beauty of flight simming is that um, at least it wasn't real life. We didn't we didn't actually crash. So we're about halfway there. But uh, yeah, Cosmo, if you want to jump in, let me know and I'll give you the closest airport and you can go ahead and jump in there or um, Oh, you'll join next time. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. The Electra. Uh, and see, I, I really love the Cessna aircraft. And 
uh the flight lessons that i'm gonna be taking soon are gonna be with a older cessna 172 it's like a i think they said a 68 or a 69 model uh, with no you know no nav system or anything it'll all be just gauges which i'm i'm thankful for and so once i found out that it, it will be in a 172 i said hey that's what i fly in sim so i'll just stick with it but yeah i totally get it uh if anytime you're interested in joining just jump in you don't even have to ask just jump in and fly along with us all right we should be coming up pretty pretty quickly my ground speed right now is a thousand knots I mean, excuse me, my airspeed. That was kind of stupid. And if I didn't have to slew in from so far away, I would go ahead and, and attempt the landing again. But I don't want to have to slew in from so freaking far away. So there's Dwarven Egg. We are starting to see some other players now since we're getting close to the main Hawaiian Islands. People, you know, want to check them out. I was just thinking that dwarven egg that there's nice that there's a drop off yeah so go to 100 percent flaps and hit that drop off and uh that should give you enough lift all right i see the island So there's our two friends. All right, so let me uh, let, let me circle around and we'll watch you guys take off. Give me just one second. There we go. Go ahead. There's Dwarven Egg taking off. And a successful takeoff by Dwarven Egg. Now we'll get Cold Fork in the air. There's Cold Fork on the takeoff roll. And Cold Fork is also in the air. All right, so our next destination. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Our next destination is going to be this this island. It's it's, it's my goodness, I'm stuttering. It's significantly bigger and it looks like a heading of uh, 45 degrees. So 45 degrees and it's a much bigger island is going to be our next next place. So let me go ahead and end this slew and fly along with my community. There we go. I might have to adjust my trim a little bit as well. And I actually see the island from here. 
not surprising. Oh, you know what? I think I hit the there. I hit the autopilot button by accident. And my trim must be way off. Yes, it is. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. A mistakes are being made. There we go. Okay. There we go. We're good. We're good. Sorry about that. I need to set a trim. <laughs> I turned into a rocket ship. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I knew my trim had to be way off the way it was flying, and it was. I need to set a shortcut and I'm sure there is one for trim on my uh, on my buttons over here on my throttle quadrant that's okay we survived we survived barely <laughs> but we survived all right so the next island we're gonna check out oh and well that's okay I couldn't refuel because I crashed and but that should have reset my fuel and it did so we're we're very good fuel wise we won't have to refuel again until we hit the main islands so we're good all right so i'm gonna uh, fly at a heading of 45 degrees that should take us to the next hawaiian island of uh let's see here this is niuhu niahu Ni, ni -ihu? Ni -ihu? I don't know how to say that. Anyways, it's a it's a nice, nice bigger. It should be very easy to land on this island. I'm gonna jump to the external view. There we go. And uh, we'll we'll check this island out. Hopefully, I won't crash this time. There's Dwarven Egg, one of my viewers, uh, one of my friends back there behind us. Cole Fork, another member of the community, is our scout up front. Need to change my heading. I'm flying at a heading of 60 right now. Let me change to the 45 heading that I'm meaning to fly at. There we go. All right, we got Dwarven Egg and Cold Fork flying along with us. We are only, oh wow, like 10 miles, 10, 10 nautical miles away from our next little island here. And once I land here, I probably will break out the drone cam and fly around the island a little bit. Hey, Ken Zone Star, what's going on, my friend? How are you? Good to see you this evening. Y'all enjoy this uh, this what? short clip of one of Ken Zone Star hey. streams. Ken's a, another fellow streamer, an awesome gentleman, good friend of the community. Well, thank you. Captain Scruffy, there you go. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your shit. Something bad about it. Oh, dude. Anytime, Kent Zone Star. Well deserved, friend. Well deserved. Uh, but hopefully, soon in real life, you can call me Captain Scruffy. I will be starting flight lessons very soon in real life. I've talked to a flight instructor yesterday. 
Um, I've actually got the opportunity tomorrow and Thursday to fly and get in some hours, but I've got to work. And then he's going to be taking a couple weeks off. I'm going to try to get by the airport and just check out uh, the Cessna 172 that we'll be flying in, which is this aircraft. I want to check it out, sit in it, get a feel for it. Yeah, I'm really excited that it's that it's the 172 also. So they have two rental aircraft that you learn on. You know, it really it, it's been a lifelong it's been a lifelong ambition, Kent Zone Star. So in 1994, um, this is this is my pilot log from 1994. The day before my daughter's uh, first birthday, I went for a, a flying lesson. And I got really sick. I mean, like I got air sick like crazy. And I said, forget this, I can't do it. And my flight instructor told me then, he said, hey, you'll get used to it. Stick with it. You'll get, you'll get over that. And I just, you know, anyways, I didn't, I didn't stick with it. But flight sim has triggered that again. And um, so, yeah. Actually, I, you know, Dramamine makes me really, really sleepy. What I, I ordered one of these, um, I don't know what they're called, but it's a it's a band that you put on your arm that, that um, gives electrical pulses to the um, to the nerve that's that's right here in your arm. Yeah, so if that works, then I'll be in good shape. But my flight instructor told me, because I had several concerns, and he was amazing. I, I know this guy. I didn't realize he was a CFI. But I've known this dude for years, worked with him and everything. So uh, he addressed every one of my concerns. My first concern was my weight, because I weigh 375 pounds. So I was concerned about that. Um, he said that wouldn't be a problem, but we couldn't fly the Cessna 150. So he said, we'd definitely have to do the 172. Uh, my second concern was my air sickness. He told me that for the first 36 of the 40 required hours that he got air sick. He said on two of his solo flights, he threw up during two of his solo flights. Um, but he said after hour 36, he was fine and it doesn't bother him. So that was encouraging. And then I did some research and I saw these bands that you can wear. So I've, I've got one ordered. It'll be here Friday. Uh, my third concern, what was my third concern? I have no, I don't remember what my third concern was, but he addressed every one of them. Um, I'm really confident. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how long it'll take me. Um, just fight, for financial reasons. But I'm super excited. This is an almost lifelong dream. I mean, that was 27 years ago. I was, uh, 20, I was 24, 25 years old then. All right, I should not have a problem at all landing here. I'm gonna land, I'm probably gonna swing around and just land right right along here and then I'll break the drone cam out and we'll do a, do a little tour. Okay, sweet, 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 I will, um, do I need to come in from, from the angle that you were coming in at? Or can I come in from the opposite, from the opposite direction? What was your heading, Cole Fork? Okay, I'm good where I am, sweet. 
Should I be able to fly straight in? Oh yeah, yeah, it looks like, uh oh, you're on final, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna land where Cold Fort did. This looks like it'll be a fairly easy one. No worries at all. Plenty of land here. But just to keep us all together. Switch to the inside camera. Let's keep it real. So yeah, that's my story. And uh, incredibly enough, I've, I've got six tenths of an hour. So our flight was six tenths of an hour back in 1994. Incredibly enough, the flight instructor said that that six tenths of an hour will count towards the final 40 that I need. But of course, you know, it's not really gonna count towards experience because I have long, long, long ago forgot all that information. Oh yeah, my other concern. How can I how can I forget what my third concern was? My third concern was this Microsoft Flight Sim, because I had read that um, flight simming was not a good idea because you could you can um, get bad habits that would hurt you during your pilot training but he said he has researched that look for the reddish dirt final heading was basically due north okay cool uh he said he has researched whether or not flight sim will hurt will will hurt your pilot training and he said no that is not the case he, he said yeah there is big enough difference and he said also that it would be good practice um, once I'm ready for cross country, so he said you could, once you know where you want to fly on the cross country, go ahead and fly that a couple times in game. So you're familiar with the airport and, and all that stuff. And he said, it could actually be a good thing for you. So that, that helped me out too. All right, there is Cold Fork already on the ground. This island looks pretty cool too. Um, you know, I probably need to change my heading just a little bit, slide in this way some. So I'm not heading right at the water. Yeah, um, so Cold Fork, um, I have been on the Flying Fabio's um, streams before. In fact, I raided, I raided the Flying Fabio um, a few streams ago. It was one night that I raided the Flying Fabio. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Goodness, I almost flipped the plane. All right, I'm coming around. I'm gonna um, come around and park right next to Coal Fork. All right, there's Dwarven Egg. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Didn't mean to cough in your ears. Oh, there's a nice house over here. I thought I saw a building when I was flying in. Let's see here. Gonna go ahead and line up right here. There we go. Good deal. Good deal. Let's line them up. Line them up. <laughs> no doubt. New meaning to the term Airbnb. Heck yeah. All right. I'm gonna set my parking brake. Let's get the drone cam out and do some sightseeing here. Oh, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. Thank y'all. Uh, thank you for the confidence as well. Uh, my community is amazing in helping me with my confidence as a uh, as a new pilot. <clears throat> ah, there. Yeah, I got to get a shot of this. Let me let me get a. Uh, I'm gonna get a screenshot of this and we'll post it for. Uh, and I'll say that it gives a new meaning to the term Airbnb. Nice, good stuff. Move in a little bit closer there. I know that is pretty funny. That is that is really funny. Uh, if you're just joining us, um, I've got Cold Fork and Dwarven Egg Official flying along with me. We have been doing, over the last several streams, tours of some of the remote Hawaiian islands. And we're talking about these islands are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles away from the main Hawaiian islands that we always think about. But we're slowly, slowly approaching the mainland. In fact, this is the last remote island before we hit mainland Hawaii. So I'm going to do a quick drone tour. Wow. Do a quick drone tour of this island. You can actually hear. You can hear the wildlife. Do y'all hear that? This is pretty amazing. You can actually hear the, the birds and animals. The details that Microsoft put into this is pretty, pretty darn cool. So it looks like there's not a whole lot to see here. There is an Airbnb on the island that we're gonna, uh, we're, we're staying at right now, just getting a little rest before we fly into the next island. But I really wanted to check this out. Okay, so I didn't know if this was a crater or what. It looks like it's not. It's just a just a mountain right here on the edge of the uh, on the edge of the ocean. That's really beautiful. It really is beautiful. Fly money, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. How are you this evening? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to uh, what I call the sock drawer. I'm Scruffy Tan, a longtime gamer, been streaming for about 15 months and flight simming for um about three months how are you fly money are you a are you a flight simmer check out this shot whoa oh this is beautiful beautiful stuff right here i'm gonna put this in lightroom adobe lightroom and do some editing and dude this is gonna look freaking phenomenal What did I stream before uh, Microsoft Flight Sim? 
I did. I was a variety. Whoa, shoot. I almost crashed into the water. I was a, what, what I call a variety streamer. So I did um, pretty much anything and everything. I did a ton of Animal Crossing. Um, a lot of PC games. I liked scary stuff. Um, there's a game called Inside that I loved. Um, Layers of Fear. You're a simmer, sweet. Uh, Fly Money, are you a streamer? Are you a streamer by any chance? So I can give you a shout out. I, I love to shout out fellow streamers in my stream. So how long have you been simming for Fly Money? Dwarven Egg and Cold Fork are being so kind. Just sitting over there, probably having a nap at the uh, Airbnb as I fly. Ah, oh, thank you, Dwarven Egg. Check this out though. What a cool vacation spot, right? Can you imagine like laying on this beach? You've got a, you've got a lake right here behind you as well. You don't stream, came on Twitch and enjoying the streams. Cool, thank you so much. You know what? Um, I was the same, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need to turn on some music. It's awful quiet. Hang on just a minute. I was on Twitch for, um, over a year before I decided, before I started streaming. Oh, you've been, you've been simming since it came out on Xbox. Awesome. So yeah, I, I loved, you know, and it's kind of funny to me and it, it's good. This is going to be funny to you guys. I'm a, I'm a, um, an automotive technology instructor. Yeah, I'm learning as well. And holy crap, people like Cold Fork and Dwarven Egg have been a huge, huge help to me. But I teach um, automotive technology and I would notice my students in their free time listening to people playing games. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? And I thought it was the stupidest thing that you would watch somebody play a video game. <laughs> but you know what I did? Um, after class, I got on my PC and I jumped in and started watching some games that I was playing. Um, I was into Splatoon 2 on the Nintendo at the time. So I said, hey, I'm going to check out, you know, someone playing Splatoon and maybe get some some strategies and stuff, you know, and then I was hooked. I was hooked and then I had to be a streamer because in my spare time, this is what I do is play video games anyways. So yeah, and uh, then I then I discovered Flight Sim and holy crap, it has got me. I'm, I'm addicted. All right, I'm almost done. So it looks like this island is habitated, but I wonder if um, if they're limited, or maybe that house that we're at is for whoever you know is is responsible for looking after the island or something. I know, right? You know what? I canceled Netflix. I canceled Netflix because of Twitch. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is so, this is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm, I'm heading back. Yeah, because you, you like learning more about flying and see in 1994, I'm, I'm 53. So in 1994, I think I was, I was 25 or 26. I decided I wanted, oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that fly money. So I decided that I wanted to, um, to become a pilot and I got air sick. I'm like my really air sick, my first lesson. And so I gave it up, but this flight sim has really reignited that. And I am going to start back taking flying lessons, um, potentially tomorrow or, um, tomorrow or Thursday, but more realistically the first of the year. 
and my plan is for each step of the way just to um to talk about it each stream and maybe refly what i have flown while i'm in the air and stuff like that so yeah i definitely want to i want to turn my streams into into uh, even more educational than what they are so i am a certified drone pilot according to the faa um but i'm really excited to become a um a, a real life you know air airline air air aircraft pilot holy crap i struggled with that didn't i all right let me get one more screenshot here of us okay all right so next what time is it oh my gosh i said i was gonna stop streaming now hannah what's going on i said i was gonna end stream but i am so in love with what we're doing right now let let's fly on to the next destination so this is gonna be a really really short hop a really short hop and let's fly to i thought that said barking sounds like what uh let's fly to barking sands barking sands airport all right it's gonna be just a short hop we'll land here then i'm gonna wrap things up okay cole Fork. hey dude thank you so much for flying along i appreciate that oh uh, i truly do thank you thank you for jumping in and thank you for all the help oh hannah you've been lurking the whole time yeah i'm surprised i'm still on too but i think i'm gonna hop to the next island and then um once we land there i'll wrap things up and then next my next stream will be thursday and when i start stream thursday we'll do a tour of that island and then we'll take off and fly to the next one i, I hope y'all are really enjoying this but yeah so what i want to do is encourage people to to start their you know their flying their flying journey uh, even flying drones is is really really amazing but uh i, I can I, I just can't wait i can't wait to get behind the in the cockpit like this in a real aircraft all right you ready to roll all right i am flaps down and let me go ahead and oh you know what let me do some shout outs really quick um so dwarven egg dwarven egg is an amazing streamer and you, you want to talk about some high energy holy crap high energy streamer um i won't yeah, need flaps okay so check out check out dwarven egg also also cold fork who was flying along with us uh cold fork is also an amazing streamer as well uh, very educational, both of these guys. <laughs> wow, look at that. Be sure you check them both out. Please, please give them a follow. Um, I promise you, I'll give you all of your money back what if is... you don't enjoy their streams. <laughs> money back guarantee. Leather. Notice I didn't say bits and subs back. It's money back no, guarantee. All right, so we'll watch this and then, then we'll take off. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Did I take my parking brake off? Oh, you. Oh, Hannah. Awesome. You watch Christmas Vacation? Heck yes. Call for it. Good night, friend. I'll see you on one of your streams very soon. All right, let's uh, let's spin things around. We'll go ahead and take off. It's a really short hop to the next destination. Why am I not spinning around? All right, Dwarven Egg is going to be on my six. Uh, Cold Corf Fork has decided to spend the night right here in our little Airbnb. By the way, anyone that, that just joined us on my streams, you are always welcome to jump in. You don't have to ask just jump in i enjoy the company i enjoy other people flying along with us so just jump in whenever you're ready and uh and we'll have some fun together all right here we go let's let's roll
All right, we are up. Up and in the air. Up and in the air. All right, next destination is just over the ocean. Not very far at all away from where we are right now, y'all. Uh, we're going to be flying at Barking Sands Airport. Uh, Papa Hotel Bravo Kilo on one of the main Hawaiian islands just in time for sunset also. I've really been looking forward to these Hawaiian uh, Pacific Ocean sunsets. So I need to change to a change my heading just a little bit so that I can so that I can land um, in this airport. It's not far at all. Um, we're talking just 20 nautical miles away. Uh, if you're just joining me, welcome to the channel. I'm Scruffy Tam. I'm a longtime gamer. I've been streaming for about 15 months, and I've been flight simming for only three months, so I'm still really new. Uh, my streams, I try to make them as educational as possible. I am not a pilot in real life. However, I am going to be taking pilot lessons um, starting the first of the year. My plan then is to make my streams even more educational by teaching y'all what I'm learning as much as possible. Uh, my stream schedule is is fixing to be really a, a lot of uh, very regular, I guess, is the, is the word I'm looking for. I'll be streaming uh, Thursday night, Friday, just about every day of the week now. And for quite some time, I'll be streaming. Um, I'm going to try to post that on Twitch. Thank you so much, Fly Money. I appreciate that. All right, we are... Uh... Dude, yes. Go Dwarf Egg. <laughs> why, do I, why do I always butcher your name? I called you... What did I call you the other day? Dwarven Elf? And now I'm calling you Golden Egg? What? what where is this coming from you know where it's coming from it's coming from me being tired um dwarven egg i appreciate that so much thank you friend so i do have to work tomorrow i do have to work thursday and then i'm done until january the 4th so y'all can expect to see a lot of scruffy tam Oh, thank you, Dwarven Egg, for following uh, Cold Fork. I appreciate that. So, uh, so Hannah, y'all put up the Christmas tree and watch Christmas Vacation. I love Christmas Vacation. I love it. Uh, Tam, the OG, and I started watching um, It's a Wonderful Life. That's been a, a, something that her and I always look forward to each year watching together. And we've done that for years. And so we started watching it and her kids were like, oh, this is a dumb movie. But then they, they kind of got into it and now they're on vacation. So when they get back, we'll, we'll continue. We'll continue watching it. All right, I'm going to slow on down now that I've, I've cleared the top of these mountains. So we're just going to jump over to this island now. This is one of the Hawaiian mainland islands. Um, we're going to land at Barking Sands Airport. I keep on wanting to say Barking Sounds. Oh, thank you, Dwarven Egg. Yeah, you know, that's something I saw on someone else's stream a long time ago. And... Um, I, I I had to I had to put it on there. And y'all I, I know I've got a lot of new viewers here lately. What you what you don't know about me, um is I'm a very stable person. I'm an extremely stable person. I don't get anxious a lot about anything. I'm I'm for the most part very level headed, 
nothing really bothers me. I don't, I don't have depression or anything, but, um, someone very close to me. Oh, cool. Thank you, Fly Money. Someone very close to me, a family member, um, not an immediate family member, so not Tam the OG or anybody, but someone very close to me, um, last year around may i am no this year around may confided in me that they wanted to um harm themselves or um un unalive themselves i guess is, is what i'll say just to just to keep it nice and so i talked to them but i also um called i called their mother and talked to them and they called they've got him help and he's doing much much better i'll just it's a long story but i'll just put it that way they've got him help he's doing much much better and um i'm so i'm so thankful that they confided in me and yeah um dwarven egg when i shouted you out earlier and it had the fortnite clip uh this kid is who i played fortnite with a lot he and i play fortnite a lot off stream um and so you know one day when we were playing fortnite uh, he confided in me and, and asked me not to tell anybody, you know, or stuff, but I, but I could not say anything. All right, so I'm just checking my altitude right now. Okay, I am, I am dropping down slowly and that's what I'm wanting to do. Uh, this airport is, yeah, 16 feet above sea level, so, so I'm good. Oh, thank you, Dwarven Egg. Hey, I'm a, I'm a lover of people. I really, really do. I love people. Um, I'm a teacher. I have to love people. Well, I don't have to, but... Um, before I was a teacher, I was a service manager for 14 years at a Chevrolet Cadillac dealership. And when I tell you that I loved what I did, I can't, I can't express it enough that I love what I did because I love... I love people. I really do. And and the streaming. Oh, y'all don't know how much I love streaming and how much I love chat. Anyways. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for that dwarven egg. So I want my channel to be somewhere that anyone can come and feel, you know, uh, feel accepted and wanted and loved. And just be that safe space that so many people need. Somebody's following us. Oh, JDeathX, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. How are you this evening? Evening for me anyways. I appreciate the follow. Are you a flight sim? Uh, are you a flight simmer? I should say. If so, how long have you been flight simming? The sun is starting to fall now. We're starting to see some nightfall. You are great. Awesome. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear that, Death X. I'm glad to hear that. Welcome to the channel. I am Scruffy Tam. I'm a longtime gamer. So you've been flight simming since the Concorde on the cover of Flight Sim. So how long is that? I have no clue. I've only been flight simming for three months. Oh, since 2000. Thank you so much for that because I had no idea. Um, I've been flight simming for, for, um, for three months. So, yeah. Cool. I've been gaming since the late 70s and uh, been streaming for about 15 months. Never got the hang of flying professionally. Just for fun. Cool. I am not a pilot in real life yet. I am uh, in the process of starting my training to get my PPL.
so uh, I'll, I should be starting at the first of the year hopefully hopefully soon oh are you really that's pretty cool are you at one of the larger airports that's pretty awesome Tampa sweet very nice I have uh, I flown into Tampa one time when I was a kid and we're talking we're talking 70s again yeah that is a, that's a pretty freaking cool job oh so by the way anytime y'all just so you know anytime I'm streaming if you want to jump in and fly, don't ask. Just jump in and fly. I mean, you, you, you can you can say, hey, I'm flying along with you. So when I see your tag, I'll know it's you. But you don't have to ask. Just jump in and fly. Um, I say that just to say that as soon as I land at the next airport, I am going to be ending stream. So, um, you know, don't, don't fire flight sim up and think I'm going to be streaming for a lot longer. So... Um, I do have to get in bed because I got to get up probably around 7 a.m. tomorrow morning to head into work. <laughs> A 24 hour stream, 24 seven, baby, 24 seven. I'm a robot. Uh, yeah, so it is it is pricey where I'm at the rental of the plane, which is going to be a, a 172, which is what I'm flying right now. Uh, the Cessna 172 is one hundred and thirty five dollars an hour. And then the flight instructor is fifty dollars an hour. And the only other cost is for the, uh, the FAA official when you do the check ride and then the medical. But yeah, it, it's definitely pricey. And I, you know, I thought about saving for it, but my thing is, I, I'm one of these people that has a hard time saving for anything because I love, I guess you could say I love spending money. I've got a, I've got a Jeep. I've got a 2021 Jeep Wrangler. And like, I've, I've put so much money into accessorizing it. And so if I know if I save enough money to do something else to the Jeep, I'll probably end up doing that. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to pay as I go. My credit is a one. Uh, it, it, it could be. It could be. No, my credit used to be really, really good. Um, but I co-signed for a family member's car and they defaulted on it and it killed my credit. But really, I had perfect credit for a long time. So what do I do in real life? Which, I mean, is this not real life? I mean, th that's such a weird term to say in real life because this is real life, right? I mean, you're not, I'm, I'm a real person talking to real people. But what I do for my day job is I'm a, uh, I'm, a, I'm an instructor of automotive technology. I teach people how to work on cars at a local college. I've just been really blessed to have, um, to have some pretty good jobs in the past. And anyways, You love cars, but you already did that so many times. It's hard to do something I always wanted to do. Yes. Yes. So uh, on my Discord, I, I, I'm pretty sure I have some pictures of my Jeep on my Discord. I've got pictures of my setup on my Discord, but you know, now that I have this camera, you really don't need to see my have pictures of my setup because you can see it live.
So yeah, my background has always been automotive technology. I've always had a love of flights and flying. Uh, but I have always either been a car mechanic, a technician. I specialized in electronics. Throw her up then. Um, you know, I don't know if I have any pictures that I can show. Oh, you, my Discord? Or the, or the pictures of the Jeep. I don't know if I have any on my game, any pictures of my, on my gaming PC, but I'm pretty sure if you type in exclamation mark Discord, it'll show you my Discord. And if there's not any on there, I'll post some right after. Because I did just put a new front bumper. I, I put a new front bumper and a, and a winch on it within the last month. Oh, I'll tell you what. Can you tell that I like to talk to um, my YouTube channel? I made a video of me putting the of putting the winch on the bumper. So my YouTube video is is probably the way to go. Um, go on YouTube. My channel is Scruffy Tam. And I've got a video so you can see the my the the shop that we have at the school. And you can see the Jeep too. So that's probably the best way. All right, I'm going to go back to internal view so we can prepare for our landing. We're coming up on uh, we're going to fly into runway 34. Runway 34. Dwarven Egg is a pilot. Uh, Dwarven Egg does have their private pilot's license. Oh, thank you, Dwarven Egg. So, runway 34. Thank you. I appreciate that. See, these are things that I need to know. I appreciate it, Fly Money. Uh, yeah, my landings are usually pretty entertaining. To put it lightly. 500. I tend to get really nervous when it comes to the landings and then I totally blow them. I can't quite see the runway yet. Apparently there are no lights. But I should be coming up on it pretty soon. Just feel it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I see the beacon now. Sorry for being so quiet. I'm just really concentrating, trying to uh, trying to find the airport. Try, excuse me, trying to find the runway. Oh no! Holy crap! I've missed the. How could I have missed that? Oh my gosh! How did I miss it by that much? Okay, y'all. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a go around. I didn't realize that it was right there. I was looking dead ahead. Oh my gosh, look at that sunset, y'all. See, I told you my landings were very entertaining.
all right so i'm just going to do a quick go around i'll fly out over the ocean just a little bit more and now that i how did i miss the runway lights y'all All right, we'll fly out over the ocean just a little bit so I can circle around and get lined back up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you know, there was a time when I first started flight simming. By golly, I would have tried to land that. But, um, thankfully, I've learned from uh, many, many mistakes. Oh, Dwarven Egg. By the way, uh, my daughter and her kids are up there in Chicago right now. They uh, landed yesterday. Up in your neck of the woods. Sorry for uh, uh, sorry for saying where you're where you're from. I should have just said landed up there where you're at. You know, I may. Yeah, I know they were they were actually hoping for snow, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice week. They're going to be there for the whole week. Um, right now, I'm not planning on. Yeah, it's War of an Egg, no doubt. Right now, I'm not planning on um, going for my CPL or anything, but who knows? I do have a good friend who does uh, fly. He's a private jet. A private jet. Um, pilot and he flies all over the world it's pretty cool seeing his facebook posts um of some of the places that some of the places that he goes to all right so now that i know where the runway is Hey, what's going on, Peanut? How are you? Welcome back. Good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Silver Spell, how are you? Uh, stream has been fantastic, Silver Spell. Thank you so much. I'm just about to wrap things up as soon as I land. But I hope you're doing well, Silver, Silver Spell. And Peanut, how are you this evening? Good to see both of y'all coming in at the same time i am fantastic really doing well um i've got two more days of work and then i'm off of work until january the 4th got a nice long christmas break coming up taking a break from cleaning the house oh yeah oh yeah Uh, so I'm planning on landing. This is one of the, uh, oh my gosh. This is, I'm getting really low, really low. This is one of the Hawaiian islands, one of the main Hawaiian islands. Um, I don't recall the name of the island right off. But here we are. So tonight we've actually flown three different islands. Well, not the straightest landing, but uh, but I'll take it. Holy crap, holy crap. This is why you contact the tower. <laughs> this is why you should always contact the tower before landing. All right, where's the taxiway? Nothing like going head to head with the airliner, right? Go right. Okay, thank you. See, I told you. Very entertaining. Oh, wait. I saw you when I landed, but I don't see you now. Are you back this way? Yes, there you are. Okay, cool. Thank you. 
So there's feline teacher who I played chicken with. I got a feeling. I got a feeling that I probably uh, lost that game of chicken. Thank you, Dwarven Egg. And we just ran into Dwarven Egg too. Oh, well, we're tearing up all the aircraft tonight. Sheesh. One of my problems is I can't see this RPM gauge really good from where I'm at, <laughs> but um, okay. Thank you. Thank you for your help. All right, let's uh, go ahead and kill things. Well, I guess we just did kill things, didn't we? But I mean, shut things down is probably a better term. All right, there we go. All right, everybody, it has been, it's been fun. I hope it's been entertaining for you. That's what I'm here for, to entertain, uh, to keep you for, so bump to 1500 to start moving them back down to 1000 is the perfect taxi speed. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, that help. Um, yes, I mean, I've got to make this worth not watching Netflix or Hulu, right? So that's why, you know, that's why I do the things I do. Okay. Okay.